When you call to mind the highlands, you might imagine any number of changing rural landscapes. For the highlands are 400 million years old, and they have been the subject of artistic imagining since before Rome had a name. To dive into this world so beloved by the Romantics, you need to look no further than Lochtui and the Five Sisters by Joseph Farquharson. With blue skies and gentle waters, this is a world of eternal summer. Consider the boats in the foreground, the only human presence to be seen in this otherwise untouched landscape. This is a world of impossible mountains rising to meet the sky, of ancient valleys dominating the water. The achievements of man are foregrounded, but they allow us to only traverse the lock. We cannot hope to tame this terrain, for it is equal parts as timeless as it is expansive. But as surely as day comes with night, it is important to remember that there are two distinct sides to the Highlands. In this regard, Spate in the Highlands by Peter Graham is perhaps a more realistic interpretation of what the Scottish heartland actually looks like. Here we have brown surge waters cascading over moss-capped rocks. We see overgrowth and heather. This is a landscape that stretches and ranges into the cairns in the background, further than we can see. These highlands are dark and ominous. They are far removed from towns and cityscapes that we are familiar with, for this is the land that civilization could not conquer. To truly appreciate either painting, we must ask ourselves the question, what can they tell us about vanishing Scottish identity?